Fellow tennis nerds, One Hazel 98, it's kind of a new uh, layup for these rackets. A little bit firmer according to Jeffrey who runs the brand. I really like this one previously, so I'm, and I'm keen to test a new layup. We'll see how they play. And uh, this is the 100, quite wide, quite open string pattern. This is the 98 with the denser pattern, more control. That, that was my favorite before. This has a, a decent feel, I would say, and it's a good 100 square inch racket. But yes, the open pattern will will give the ball a little bit more lift, a bit more forgiveness, not as much control as this very dense 1820. So more power, more spin, more forgiveness, less control, control oriented, feel oriented uh, for you who can generate your own power. So let's give them a go and we, we see what we think about them. This comes actually like this stock spec. It's not like I customized it, it actually came like this. And I would say the swing width is around 325 maybe in this version. I have no machine here, so I can't test it. 6019, maybe I would have preferred for control the 1820 or 1620. Uh, that would be my preference, but it's not going to be crazy power with this beam and medium stiffness. Uh, but this, the pattern does have a lot of uh, launch to it because of it being similar to the pure drive or soft drive first generation. But very nice frame, actually. I really enjoyed hitting with this one as it's more balanced than many power rackets. The first time I tried these rackets, I did not like the 100 as much. It felt a little bit disconnected to me. Maybe there was a little bit too much flex. I don't know. I like it much better this time around. It's actually my favorite of the two, although it's very, very narrow race. I like both these rackets quite a bit and they suit my game and I enjoy that old school sensation when striking the ball and the 100 gives me a bit more power forgiveness when hitting with my father for example it's easier to play with kind of easier coaching racket uh, the 98 really requires you to be on your game at all times uh, while the 100 gives you more power without being crazy um, you know um, pure drive or, or Wilson ultra power whatever you want to call it uh, it's just kind of more of a balanced racket like the blade 100 I talked about uh, more like a Shift 300, Blade 100, uh, Gravity Tour, maybe with a bit more power to it, something like that. So more of an interesting frame for, for players who uh, want power and, and some spin, but without having like crazy uh, amounts of both. So yeah, this is uh, surprisingly the favorite for me this time around. Previously like the 98, that's still good, but this one is easier to use without any kind of crazy power. Time for the kind of K-blade of the Hazel Tour 98 dense pattern, much more tough to generate power, but very, very precise. Rolling. I must say I like the string as well. I talked about that in the previous version, the Hazel version two, I would call them. They're a little bit firmer, so a bit more power. I, I prefer that more on the 100, where I felt like had more pace on the ball. This one is a bit more stable, maybe not as quite as plush and you know nice pocketing, but still very good racket and uh, nice sound too, especially with the string, the tour string. It's very, very uh, old school, but yeah, in a good way, I would say. So uh, I really like these frames. So these are two excellent old school playing frames. The 98 does demand a lot more from the player. You know, think back to the older blades and anything similar to that. Not quite as powerful as a kind of TF40, uh, but in that similar range of power with the mid 60 stiffness uh, very fun to use but yeah it requires you to move a bit more and doesn't give you the same spin at the net i did prefer the the 98 with the precision it, it's a bit faster obviously smaller head size i uh, felt a little bit more nimble around the net this is also standard length the other one is says a tad extended there's 27.1 inches and that one gives you more free depth on the volleys and a bit more of a forgiving sweet spot, but I can't place my volleys with the same precision though. So um, definitely on the volley side, I would go with the 98. A bit less easy to control, but also easier depth, obviously a little bit more larger sweet spot. The same story continues on the serves. Obviously you get a bit more pace with the Hazel 100, a bit easier to serve with but uh, not the same kind of precision uh, that you get from the 98. So this is pretty, the story pretty much for every stroke, as you can imagine. However, um, you don't get that kind of pure drive power with this frame. It wasn't that easy to generate uh, loads of pace with it. So it's more of a balanced frame, like I said. Pro Stab X is another example. It's good power with this one, but it's not like overwhelming, you know? It's not like pure drive where you get loads of extra help. It's like pretty dependable, decent kick. Uh, let's try the other one.
some players like smaller head sizes on the serve because you can really swing the racket through the contact point faster. Uh, it doesn't have quite the same pop naturally, the 98, but it allows for a really fast swing if that's what you like. So that's the, really the differences. Obviously, you can, you can pick your spots a bit easier with the 98, while the 100 with its extra 0 0.1 inch uh, really offers easier pace and was, uh, I, I think, better to serve with for my game. So for coaching or hitting with my father here, who I need to um, give a little bit easier balls generally, but also, um, you know, I can move a bit less. So I, I prefer using 100. It is easier for me to use. I don't need uh, to focus so hard on my footwork and the racket gives me a little bit more power. Uh, same when, when, yeah, coaching people in general, I think the 100 would be an easier choice. Night 8, you need to put effort in, as I said, like it's all about footwork. This one plays like a gravity on steroids, maybe gravity MP, more power. It's stiffer than the previous Hazel 100. Maybe a bit more direct, so the control, you could argue, is better in one sense, but it, it does have a quite open pattern, so the ball tends to go a little bit higher than you expect at times. Still very easy to play with, fun, good feel, no sense of discomfort. It's a very direct feeling racket, no uh, funky dampening technology or anything in this frame, just uh, play and go. I've struggled a bit on the volleys to control, at least with this setup, uh, but otherwise um, a very nice stick and uh, a bit more open like the Gravity MP. This is 1619, Gravity is 1620, so a little bit different. Uh, this one, this is kind of old school blade, like a K blade, a little bit firmer blade. You who like the countervail series, although this is not as dampened, so I would rather say K blade, but similar to that. A little bit higher stiffness, a very direct response, super stable, really nice control at the net grade on slices. Obviously, you have to generate your own power and the spin potential is not going to be crazy with this type of 18-20 dense string pattern as this one has. But competing well with the blades, with the Radical MP and these types of frames, uh, at least the Blade 1820 or the Technifiber TF40 1820. Uh, this one is less dampened, a little bit more old school. Uh, so if you're into old school feeling frames, that makes you connected to the ball and, and also dampened depending on what you like. Uh, these frames are very interesting. And uh, yeah, another brand that is not so well known to consider. I really liked them the first time around. This time around that experience persists. These are slightly firmer than the first generation, probably based on some feedback he's received. And uh, I think they play uh, similarly, uh, a little bit easier power with, with these frames than what was with the previous generation. Strung with Hazel Tour strings, really like the blue one. Uh, haven't played enough with the yellow and red combination here to figure it out. Uh, there's also a bag uh, which seems decent and some, some grips and stuff, so they're stepping up their game. Uh, which is nice to see when the small brands, I try to give them some space on the channel because I think uh, it's not so easy to you know compete with these big dragons. And if I would compare it to other blacked out lesser known brands, I would say the Fury has a bit more of a, of a wilder uh, launch. It's the Fury 98 that is, that's a little bit more uh, help on the ball, uh, perhaps a bit plusher in the feeling when you actually contact the ball. Stiff is probably around the same. And uh, the Fury Arma Pro the 101 plays a little bit more similar to this one. Uh, this one is more firm, I would say maybe a tad more control also. Uh, that, that would be my, my feeling. Uh, compared to the 10X, the X-Strike, I, I would say this one has more control than the X-Strike. That's a little bit more of a, of a really powerful racket. While the 10X Excalibur is very low powered, so this one has more power, so more balanced. The, the X, Excalibur feels very, very uh, flexible. Now, uh, but good frames, all of them actually, and it's nice to see these new brands come up with some decent sticks. They're all blacked out, all of them the way that I mentioned, except the X-Strike. Uh, which is interesting obviously the fury uh, they have some pretty cool designs on their racket but it's also black this one definitely is something to check out if you like older blades